you there everybody good morning welcome to another installment here on the back porch this is seven minutes in the morning my name is Tom Rigsby your host and uh, hey whether you're watching live or on the replay drop a comment down there let me know that you're here like the video wave just make sure you're waving all your fingers just do something to let me know that you're there that encourages me that's what it does for me but for you it sets you up to uh, stay involved in the comment conversation as it develops throughout the day hey I was having a conversation uh, with a friend yesterday who pointed out that um, he had a conflict during this time and it was difficult for him to join to watch the show live and uh, I pointed out to him that since he spends time listening to podcasts in the car in the morning he could get it on iTunes or Stitcher or his favorite podcast catcher and he didn't realize he could do that so I've been remiss in pointing out that you can also listen to the show not live but you can listen to the show every morning about 10 minutes after we're done here it gets posted up on all those venues so uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Streaker uh, not Streaker, Spreaker I, let me start that over. iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and TuneIn uh, are the four venues where that happens. Of course, you can always come back here and watch the replay video uh, anytime you want. So, good morning to Joe and good morning to Keith. Thank you both for being here this morning. So, yesterday I talked a little bit about, actually all week I guess, I've been talking about obstacles and uh, started running into a time constraint yesterday when I wanted to talk about what we're going to talk about today. Obstacles versus excuses. That's what I've titled this episode. And uh, as I was explaining yesterday, sometimes when we see the outcome out in the future and we get to an obstacle, when we get there, we're like, man, you know what? This is a big deal. I need to spend some time working on this. And it's very easy to rationalize in our mind. You know, this could happen over and over again. If I don't fix it, it's just going to come back and bite me in the butt later. I really need to spend time fixing this. In reality, that's 99% of the time, okay, 98% of the time, that's not true. Right? We spend, we're really good, and we've talked about this this week, we're really good at identifying the possible bad things that could happen. That's just, that's the way our, our brain stem works for us, right? It's that survival instinct. Well, if I do that, then this could happen, or that could happen, or that could happen. And as I told you earlier in the week, that's fine. Think about those things. Try to mitigate those risks. But you can't think about those things without flipping the coin over and also cataloging all the good things that could happen. All right? All right. So because our brain is so good at coming up with the bad things that could happen, we're going to see these obstacles, right? And yesterday we were talking about, you know, how successful people don't, um, are not free of obstacles. They've just learned how to navigate them, overcome them, or they don't even see them as obstacles anymore, right? So when we're making that journey toward uh, our success, and we see that obstacle come up in the way, like... I don't know, you're working on your WordPress site and you don't like the theme anymore. Oh, or, or you don't, uh, the colors don't match, you know, something else that you did. Whatever the, the case may be, you've come up on something, or, or here's one that happens a lot, you get a client that is unhappy. Or you get one that I don't know, for whatever reason, it just didn't click with you, right? And you're like, oh man, am I doing something wrong? I've got to restructure my whole business because, you know, this this client, you know, he was right. I, I'm doing it all wrong. Nah, that's one person, right? You get three or four people telling you that. Pay attention. One person, nah. All right, so whatever the case may be, if you come, up, come upon this obstacle and... It gives you pause to think, oh man, I really need to spend some time working on this. This, You know, this is going to pay off later on. I, I just need to do this. Anytime, that's your trigger, okay? Anytime you have that thought, you have to ask yourself, right? How much time am I going to spend on this versus working toward my goal? 
And this is where it becomes an excuse. Right? Success is difficult. That's why not everybody's able to achieve it. And one of the things that makes it difficult is, I'll just call it stepping in a pothole and getting stuck. Right? This is one of those potholes on the road to success. You step in it and you get stuck there. And, and it's easy to do because it feels like it's meaningful work. And it may be at some point, but not today. Do you really have to change out the theme on your WordPress site? Right? Do you really have to run a new survey and focus group to figure out what you're doing wrong in your business? Do you really need to dig into this problem and solve all the possible nuances and corner cases or do you just need to mitigate this risk that it, something might happen and then keep moving? Because if we stop to address, <clears throat> to fill, right, to, to maintain my metaphor here, if we stop to fill every pothole along the way, right, then in a couple of years we're going to find ourselves being road surface technicians instead of that uh, success that we had have been eyeing down the road. Instead of using the road to get to where we want to go, we're spending all of our time maintaining the road. Right? So I said 98% of the time, sometimes it makes sense to solve this problem. But the, the occasions are very, very rare. Right? Be very critical of the thought to stop and fix a problem that you didn't know you had yesterday. Man, think about it this way. If you'd never found out that this, that this problem existed, would it have stopped you from reaching your, your outcome? Probably not. Yet you're going to stop today and spend hours, days, Maybe a week or two working on it. This doesn't make sense when you think about it that way, does it? All right, that's it for today. Today is Wednesday. That means it's coffee shop show day coming up at 9 o'clock. That's a little less than two hours from now. Be sure and join Eric and I from Old Town Coffee in Five Points, Huntsville, Alabama, USA. If you happen to be in Huntsville, come on by and uh, visit with us. We'd love to have that live cafe audience. I got pretty good coffee there, too. You can grab you a cup of coffee, watch the show, and uh, be part of that live experience if you happen to be there. If you don't, that's okay. You can watch us right here. We'll be right here on Facebook. All right, and I'll be right back here tomorrow morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I think we'll keep talking about obstacles for the rest of the week. All right, you have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you again in the morning. <laughs>